Beneath the Black Hills lies an underground world of caves. Jewel Cave was discovered 100 years ago this year and is the second longest known cave in the world. Let's take a tour. Well, on behalf of Jewel Cave National Monument, the National Park Service, I'd like to welcome you all here today. My name is Ranger Dan and I will be your guide for our scenic tour adventure. Jewel Cave is quite a bit different from many other caves in the world. In fact, a lot of caves that people go into, you expect to see stalactites, stalagmites, flowstone formations of that sort. We do have those formations in Jewel Cave. We will be seeing those on our tour today, but those are not the primary formations that we have down here. The big formation, what we're going to be seeing a lot of on this tour, is calcite crystal, the jewels of Jewel Cave. And those calcite crystals cover about 80 to 90 percent of the walls down there. Uh, is everybody ready? Okay, let's go check out that cave. Welcome to Jewel Cave. So how does one go about exploring or discovering something like this? Well, the discovery of Jewel Cave happened more than 100 years ago, back in 1900. It was found by two brothers, two cowboys. Their names were Frank and Albert Michaud. Now, the Michaud brothers one day were riding their horses down in a canyon a mile away from here when they heard kind of a strange noise, like a whistling or a howling sort of a noise. They jumped off their horses to see what that might be and what they found was a 14-inch opening in the canyon wall with air blasting out of it, causing that noise that they had heard. Now, when they first crawled in through that opening, the very first thing those brothers saw down here were thousands upon thousands of glittering specks in the darkness. Those glittering specks turned out to be calcite crystals, the jewels of Jewel Cave. Does anybody know what our current mileage is, the current length of the cave? Any guesses? Oh, you're really close. It's actually at 143 right now, 143 miles of passageway. So right now, with 143 miles of passage, that makes Jewel Cave one of the world's largest caves. In fact, this is the world's second longest cave system that we are standing in right now. Now remember I said that we can't touch or take anything while we're down here today, but there is one exception to that rule, what I like to call the sacrificial rock right here next to the staircase. So before we head down, I encourage each and every one of you to go ahead and touch this. Just get it all out of your system, okay? These are stalactites right here. And uh, these are actually solid rock formations formed when one single water drip drips off of the ceiling. And as that drips off, it leaves behind a deposit of calcite, of limestone. And that calcite builds up to form stalactites. Back off the end of the platform over there where I turned the lights on a moment ago, kind of looks like caramel or peanut butter flowing over the rock. That stuff is called flowstone. And flowstone is formed almost like stalactites and stalagmites, only the water trickles over the rock very, very slowly, leaving behind a deposit of calcite as it goes. Solid rock, just like everything else down here. There are roughly 300 caves in the Black Hills, and about eight of them offer tours. Now, if they're anything like the Jewel Cave Tour, they're well worth your while.